Hey guys, and welcome back to more Red Dead Redemption 2. Let's continue, shall we? I suppose we'll go do some missions for Uncle, see what that lazy bastard's been up to, shall we? Oh, he's, he's sleeping. <laughs> By sweat and toil. Get up, old man. I, I am up. Get up! Oh. Oh. There, I'm up. Well, thank the good Lord you're back. Nothing worse for an old man than sleeping in the warm afternoon sun. You want a long sleep, Uncle? That can be arranged. It'll cost me less than food. You always was a hard and nasty man, John Marston. You always was a useless, conniving thief. And where's them cattle? Did you take them to pasture? It's coming around to that. When, exactly? It's easy to pick on the elderly. It's easy, but it ain't dignified. Come on, old man. Do this together. Hmm. <laughs> Seems like he's got a hell of a lot of excuses. All right. Well, let's go take the cows out to pasture, I suppose. Move in position behind the cur the herd. Yeah, I bet he's gonna like royally screw these up. He sure as hell isn't as useful as he should be. That's for sure. We'll never get these <laughs> cows to pasture. He just said. Let's go. Jesus. There's no way he had any intention of doing this. Let's get him out the pasture. All right. We're driving the herd. We've got him. You know, this is pretty good farmland that they've got here. They've got a whole massive um, plain of land to themselves. It's pretty good. It's almost the size of... Excuse me. Come on, Betsy, get in there. That's it. Yeah, it's bigger than uh, all of the towns, in all fairness. Come on, cows. There's no free rides here. This pasture looks over great. Let's take them out to the plain. This looks over Come on. grazed, really? All right. No. I guess you know what you're talking about, John. More than I, that's for sure. Let's go. Come on. Hopefully we don't come across any rant um castle uh, castle? Uh cattle rustlers. Excuse me, cows. What's going on here? And quite enough of this nonsense. That's it. Ah, Daisy. It's always you, isn't it? Back in the herd. Come on, you dumb heifers. Alright. Don't you talk to my cattle like that, Uncle. They sure as shit got more value than you, that's for sure. Knocking back that whiskey all day, every day. Anyway. What the hell is going on over there? Uncle, you are useless sack of shit. Hung over, pissed up as usual. Come on, cows. Um. All right. I mean, that was fine. What the hell is going on here? What the cheese and biscuits is this about? Wait, you killed? I killed one of the cows, apparently. Well, I think that's a load of old shit, if you ask me. All right, let's try that again. You know what? We're going to stop the outlaws. Because that's the right thing to do. Come on. We are a good pillar of the community. Good pillars of the community. Stick up. 
to the common man. Let's speak to the engineer. All right. You folks okay? I think we're safe. Thank you. I thought we were done for. Just helping out. Now you take care. All right. Makes you feel good. Also, why am why am I uh, not on my horse? All right. Well, we'll worry about that a little bit later on. In fact, let's try and sort that out now. You now own a new horse. Shut it, old man. Come on. Let's get this herd moving again. Yeah, you don't know shit, old man. Okay, let's get these cows moving. Now, where are they supposed to be going? Alright, not too far away. Well, we've done our good deed for the day. Hopefully the Lord will look down with kindness on us. I doubt it. I doubt it. But we can dream. Any kind of break in this harsh unforgiving environment would go a long way, I'd wager. Daisy, it is you. Every single time. You're going to that fucking slaughterhouse first, honestly. Come on. And to think I got in trouble for shooting one of you in a past part of the multiverse. Hopefully it was you, Daisy. Okay. I'll put over. We've exterminated most of the uh, wildlife around here. You look after the herd. I'll ride back. No thanks. You got your pound of flesh from me today. Seriously? Seriously? Wait, we're done? We're just gonna leave the herd here? Yeah. Okay. I guess well that was not quite what I was expecting, I'm gonna be honest. I was going to assume that we could probably Actually, where are we on the map? Because we do need to go and sell the legendary meat that we've got. But, you know, we'll do some more missions first. That's fine. It's not like something really bad's going to happen. That would be awful now, wouldn't it? Let's go see what our lazy ass uncle's been up to. Right, let's get off that horse. I want my horse back. Oh, midnight. There we go. Okay. That's what we're talking about. Proper horse. What are you looking at, old man? There's some Mustangs and some such out there beyond that ridge. Wondering if it was worth getting you and going around some of them up. Fair enough. We're nearly out of money. Ranch is in turmoil. We may not make it through the winter. What could we possibly want with some good quality horses? Come on. That tone of voice ain't so becoming on you. Makes you seem all pent up and angry like some black water would be business tycoon with a bad case of hemorrhoids. <laughs> I'll give you a bad case if someone just shot me in the head if you don't hurry up. <laughs> I'm not sure why. Are you gonna mount up, kid? We've got this lazy sack of shit with us. Although, to be fair to him, he has just uh, found us All right, let's get after a nice little uh, revenue stream. Now, as for being almost out of money... We've got what, ten thousand dollars? That's why you got act so big a hell of a lot of money. What happened to you? We are rich. Just look at them horses all day. 
Well, God forbid I do anything around here without checking with His Royal Highness first. <laughs> yeah, you're real good at watching. That's about all you're good for, apart from bending your elbow. I can't do right for doing wrong. You're an ungrateful bastard, you know. I did my best when you was gone. Your best is like anybody else's work. Uh, you know, I gotta start taking things easy. You've been taking things easy for 40 years. <laughs> there you go. I sure as hell know a few people like that. You've been taking it easy for 40 years. Oh, good lord. There they are. Yeah. Easy. Use your lassos. You can't. You know what? Let's go for a. Let's go for a pale horse. Why not? Let's see what this beast is. Right. Let's go. Grab this boy. Oh, almost. That's it. That's got to be really uncomfortable about a saddle. Ooh. Bony backbone sticking in right. Butt crack. There we go. Come on. This one is a feisty one. That's all right. Be my noble steed before you know it. Excellent. This is a cool horse. Get back on your own horse. All right. I'm, what do you mean? Stop talking, damn it. Get back on my own horse. Shut the hell up. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, it's my ranch. It is my horse. My horse until I sell it, old man. Come on. Might as well sell you with the bloody thing. Not that you're worth anything. Anyway, let's get away from the old man. Let's. Let's see, who looks good here? Uh, this one looks good. Looks like a dark one, kind of an unusual sort of pattern. At least as far as I know, horses. I know about as much about horses as I know about oh, nuclear physics. So, god damn it. Midnight, you did that on purpose. Quiet, old man. You allowed that horse to have its freedom. You're not playing for the right team. Now it's blended in. Hang on, it's fine. We can recover from this. There you are. You're not having your freedom, son. Your free, majestic life is over. Ooh, this one's got some uh, fire in its belly. There we go. Oh, easy now. Calm down. I'm showing him who's the boss, all right? I'm sure these horses will bring in some coin. We got him. Poor old Midnight looking on at this horse. About to surrender his freedom. Or her freedom. No more grazing Whoa. with the herd. There you go. Right, you chilled? There you you chilled. You, really ain't helping. you are not helping at all, no. That's true. Up, Come on, Midnight. You've done some good work today. Oh, get us another one. Sure, why not? You know, lassoing horses uh, isn't actually that hard in this game. I um, I certainly thought it was harder. Now, do we have, like, we've got a white one. We've got a dark one. Um, we'll go for one in between. Uh, you know what? That one. There we go. We're not gonna let go. Chill the. F God damn it. Chill your bean, Uncle. Now you could do this, Uncle. Pretty sure, isn't it? Or maybe that's a bad idea. No, you're alright, John. You're alright. There's no trouble. 
just trouble for this horse. Use your knees, your woman. <laughs> Use your knees, your woman. Hear him. Giving us the shit. At least I'm not a useless old man. Come on. Yeah, we got it. This one's got some fire to it. There we go. Whew. That one was a bit of a struggle. Right, you got that one by the leash. Let's get him back to the ramp. You think you can handle that, old man? Right, let's get back home. Fine horses to sell. I think that's all right. Load up now. Make sure there's enough fresh hay. We need to keep them strong. All right. Damn, a little gratitude wouldn't kill you. Not a bad day's work. Hundred bucks. Yeah. All right. Sure, would we'll take it, I suppose. New items are now available to purchase from the stores. Yeah, it keeps saying that, but there really isn't. At least not as far as I'm aware. Right, let's go see what our boy wants. John Marston and Son. Like a regular Isaac N Newton. What's the book, boy? Uh, nothing, sir. What's it about? Well, it's an adventure, sir. Um, set out in the West, and it tells this amazing story of how people killed the savage Redskins, and how this man, this brave man, hunts the man who killed his father. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Talking of adventure, how'd you like to learn to track elk? Really big ones in the valley this time of year. We could use the meat. Well, I... I know you'd rather read your adventures. Trust me, this can be very enjoyable in its own way. I suppose maybe it's a little less dramatic. So, let's go, come on. You may get to see me get gored by some massive wild beast. <laughs> then you can write a story about that. Very funny, Paul. I've forgotten how funny he was. Grab your things. Get a quality time with the boy. Sounds good. Now, he doesn't seem like the outdoorsy type. And I can understand that. Not everybody can be of that mindset. Lord knows I spend enough time outside with me job. Alright, now stay close to the dog, son. So I do like to uh, spend most of my free time inside, away from the elements. But that's just something. me. You stay back and I'll show you how to make a kill. Whatever you say, sir. No, oh, sure dog's ready? excited. I guess so. <laughs> now the trick to hunting is calm and patient. You gotta think and move like an animal to catch an animal. A rifle helps, doesn't it? Elk don't stand still, son. Well, I wouldn't know. This is the first time you've taken me, honey. You can't stop now, old man. <laughs> There's lots of things I ain't done with you, but I'm gonna try and make up for that. And try we will. You don't seem too excited about this. What do you want me to say, Paul? Yippee? <laughs> Are you sure you're all right? I mean, I know all that business must have been hard on you. It wasn't nothing. I'm not a kid anymore. Well, it won't happen again. It's over. Look, he's picked up a scent. Come on. Yeah. The next time you meet? There won't be a next time. Don't make no more promises, Paul. I've heard them all before. John's certainly making the hunting seem a lot more involved you know, than it is. One time I hunted a bear up in tall trees. You never seen a bigger animal in all your life. I read this story about a girl who was raised by wolves. She'd hunt goats with them and everything. Sounds like a tall yarn to me. Taller than a boy being taken from his home and locked up in a dungeon? I'm just saying. Maybe you spend too much time with your head in those books. Jack, there's one up ahead. 
Yeah, Here I we see go. It. This one's mine. Stay with me, son. Right, well, if we're gonna go take it out, might as well use a rifle. Go for a nice clean headshot. Come on, let's see that little head of yours. There we go. Let's go. Good night, my go. friend. Come on. I'll show you how to cut the meat. Yep, we'll show him how to cut the meat. We'll stand over the body and push Y. Easy as that. Oh lord. This is nasty. Hope you were watching. It'll be your turn next. Find another one, Rufus. <laughs> Rufus, I like that. Let's go Come follow on. Rufus. Whoa. You ready to take a shot, Jack? Of course, Bob. Remember, it's all about timing. Wait for your moment. Don't snatch at. I know. I saw how you did it. You say so. All right. When he finds him, you take the lead. Go. Come on, Rufus. That's it. Good boy. Where's our little elk friend? What you got for us, Rufus? Oh, he's getting excited. He's getting excited. Go on, boy. There's no bears around here, is there, Rufus? There you go. Find him, Rufus. <laughs> Rufus. He's a good boy. He's the Come best on, boy. I hope we've given him a piece of meat. He would get a nice big chunk. What have you found, Rufus? Jack, come on. All right. Don't rush it. So we got to shoot the elk. Oh no, Jack. Jack's having a go. Come on. Get after him. Are we shooting the elk, or is this supposed to be Jack's rodeo? Come on, you just got one left. Oh, Jack. Oh, Jack. Come on. You can shoot one elk. I believe. What do we have to? There we go. Good lad. Alright. Well, you do that, Jack. I'm gonna carve this one up. Or well, maybe we can't. All right, no matter. Let's go. I guess there's one particular one that Jack's after. Same knife as his old man. Excellent. Nice work, son. You're a quick learner. Now come on. Let's get this meat over to the trading post at Manzanita. Really? Hey, come on. Thought we was gonna keep the meat for ourselves. Well, All right. still. <laughs> I mean to be fair, I guess hunting is quite lucrative in this game. Okay. There Jack seemed to do quite a lot as well, to be honest, with just one swing of his uh Come on! Did you see me? You did good, nice. son. Can we shoot some more? Only kill what you need. We'll go out again soon. You know, I didn't think I was going to like it. I told you you'd have fun, didn't I? Yeah, good yeah. lad. Yeah. Now, hunting's not for everyone. But good. It's an important skill to have. That's for sure. Especially in the bleak yeah. times that we find our... Two characters living Let's in go. here. Let's see if we 
can't make a little money for the All ranch. Right. Here we are. Jack, you wait here. I'll be just a moment. Well, if we've got to sell the elk meat, we might as well sell everything we have. Howdy. So, we flog the elk meat, which gets us 36 bucks. Which isn't too bad, I suppose. We sell the antlers and the skin. You know, that's not bad. It's over 100 bucks for three of them. We're going to make a really good amount of money now. So we've got Lobo's meat. Meat from Lobo, the wolf. Extremely rare and valuable. Yeah, it's not worth, like, stupid money, but it is, uh, you know, worth a selling, I suppose. I mean, you could hold on to it, I suppose, but there's no real point, is there? I mean, it's unique. Once you actually um, kill those animals, the legendary animals, they never respawn. There's only one. Bit of a shame. Khan. Khan was worth a few quid. Gordo. Yeah, Gordo's worth a bit. Made nearly a thousand off those legendaries. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, Gordo's heart. Worth over a hundred. And wolf heart. There we go. That's Nearly 12 grand in the bank now. I think we're going to make it through winter. Just saying. All done. Let's head home. Come on, boy. Let's get out of here. Had a bit of fun. Shot some elk. Done some things. Made some money. Chased my horse halfway across the fucking woods. It's all good. Let's go home. We'll go across bear country. Let's go. What happened to Rufus, actually? Hey, Rufus is coming with us. How much did you make? Never you mind. Enough to keep Rufus out of the stewing pot for a couple of days. <laughs> what about me? What do I do? You get to eat, son. But I did half the work. That isn't fair. What can I say? I'm another corrupt landowner. <laughs> Ah, uh, you could have given your boy something. I mean, come on. Go. Oh, Paul, that was so much fun. I can't really believe it. Just like in the books. We'll do it again soon. Now get to your chores. Ah, bless him. He had a good night. More of a day, really, but... Okay. So... We got some more uh, things to do with Jack, it would seem. So that's going to have to wait for the next video. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.